So my name is Kirsten Grindle and I'm a senior this year um, and I'm going to be studying at Liberty University next year um, and Jeremy asked me to share my testimony for Senior Sunday. I have been going to church since I was little. I was raised in a Christian family. I got saved when I was, let's see, I was like seven um, and it kind of was just I mean, I think I knew what was happening, but it wasn't like a personal thing. Like when looking back, I'm like, oh, I don't know if I fully knew what was happening. It had been like a couple months when I just remember like every night going for bed, I would be so scared that like something bad was gonna happen. And it was like this feeling that I couldn't really shake. And it was like every night this anxiety would hit. Um, and then I just remember talking to my parents um, and they prayed with me and it was just, yeah, they just kind of explained to me like, you don't need to be afraid because you can put your trust in Jesus and he's gonna take care of you. God's proven it to be true throughout my life. Like he's never left me and it's kind of crazy when you look back, it's like he's the only one in my life who I can say he's never let me down. And it's, you know, the only thing that I can put my trust in that I know is never gonna fail. Um, and he has taken care of me, you know, he's never left me. He's always been there with me. And it's, I think, yeah, it's so much more real to me now. Like that phrase is really what it means. Probably like around seventh grade um, is when my faith really like became my own. Um, just through the influence of really good friends um, and coming to church more and kind of just experiencing God in a more personal way. I think my view of God has just changed into something so much more like personal and intimate. Um, and I think his character has really become real to me and I've just, I've experienced his faithfulness and his love um, and his kindness just really intentionally in my life. As you get older, especially here at BCC, it's like there's a big shift between like Sunday school and then like youth group and everything. And so I think that was part of it. It's just, you're not just being like taught at, it becomes a lot more relational, you're in small groups um, and you're really being prompted to like dig deeper into your faith and make it your own. Um, and so I think that was a lot of it, just kind of not just like going and sitting in a class, but really like being a part of a community where we're all trying to um, get to know each other and get to know Christ more. My life group, we have been together pretty much since middle school. Um, we have like, some girls have moved away or some have moved in and kind of gotten, I guess, like incorporated into the group a little bit later, but we are like best friends. Um, I have like the best life group ever. We really do like everything together. They're like, make sure you're there on Wednesdays. Oh, who's coming this Sunday? And like, we all sit together and it's just like, I'm so thankful to have such a close community because I know a lot of people coming through high school don't have that. But just to have each other to encourage one another throughout the week um, and just be real with each other. Like it's called a life group. You know, we're doing life together. And that's definitely made a huge impact on my faith. Just have people to keep me accountable um, and just that I can be honest with like, hey, I feel like I'm struggling with this right now um, or I feel, you know, more distant in my faith right now um, and just having them there to like push me along and be like, that's okay you know, and it's still, that's just life. Um, and then my life group leader, Julia, has just, she's, I mean, she's like one of our best friends too. She's like, just, um, she's the best. Just always there to encourage us um, and give us so much wisdom. The most important thing for younger people is just to get involved in the youth group because it makes such a difference um, to make those friendships and get plugged into that community. Like it has made the biggest impact um, in my life and in my faith. So I would say definitely make an effort. People are great. They're so welcoming <laughs> um, and it shouldn't be hard at all to get um, to find your people here. Going to youth group was always like a highlight of my week. It still is like one of the best parts of my week. Um, and then I think also like retreats and camp, I can like look back and remember like the memories made and just like what God was doing in my life in those times. And it's just like, it's such like an intentional short little period of time. And I think God does a lot of really cool things. It was so hard with COVID. I was like, we don't have these. And I was like, I need to go to camp. Like I can, <laughs> and I haven't had any like crazy incidences that I can really speak to, but I think definitely as I've gotten a little bit older, it got a lot easier to be distracted just whether that's with school or with friends or just like the busyness of life, it, yeah, it definitely got easier and I felt myself um, just, like I said, like being a little bit less intentional. Um, I just like got too busy, I felt like, to have my devotions and then it was kind of, it got to a place and I was like, I feel, like I feel so far away from God and it was really like, I had to make a decision, like, okay, I need to like get back on this. Having my devotions and really spending that time just me um, and Jesus and really just, 
you know, like it's just that intentional time that you're setting apart. And I think that has become something that it's like, at first you're kind of like, oh, I know I'm supposed to do this, so I do it. But then I think it's kind of become like something I want to do. And also I really see like the benefit and the difference in my days and the weeks when I'm like really diligent in it. Like I see the difference that it's making. Heading off to college, it's definitely scary. <laughs> I mean, like obviously I've never experienced that before. I'm really excited. Um, just to experience new things and make new friends and also I'm just excited to see how I grow um, and change in what God does just with me there with the people around me um, so yeah it's a lot of nervousness but it's also so much excitement anticipation so the verse um, in James 4 where it says if you draw near to God he's gonna draw near to you that was really encouraging to me and that was really encouraging to think that like it's not some like distant goal that I'm trying to get back to like when I make those steps to get closer to God he's doing the same and it's like he's waiting right there for you the whole time and it was like it didn't feel like some unachievable goal you know what I mean to try to rebuild this relationship or just kind of get closer to where I was it was just he was just there waiting for me to make the move don't be afraid to test God's faithfulness um, he's never going to fail, but it definitely becomes so much more real to you when you're willing to say, God, I need you to show up here, um, or I need you to show to me that you're good, show to me that you're faithful. Um, and he will, like there's been times in my life when I've had to say, God, I don't feel it right now, but I know that you are. Um, so make it real to me. And he has, he always has. Um, and I know that he will in other people's lives too.